Imagine a universe. Imagine equality reaching its apex in that universe. Now imagine 2002. A place, a world. Imagine a nation, a great nation built on the sweat of the brows and backs of many great people. Now imagine the black history pageant, an institution celebrating the triumphs of one of these great people. Starship Nefertiti, this is Houston Command. You are now clear for entry into St. Petersburg, Florida aerospace. You know, my dream to become an aeronautical engineer began here with the Black History Pageant when I was just a boy. because we recognize doing research that there's been very little information about African-American men and women who served in the military from the Revolutionary War to the Persian Gulf. The first production was, it was funny because we didn't have costumes at the time. We, we, had, to, uh, we had to go around and borrow suits and had to borrow clothes and my mom being in the fashion pretty much had that task of trying to find things first to wear to match whatever character we were portraying. Mm -hmm. At that particular time, at that particular uh, instance, I was Duke Ellington, so I didn't have a suit. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to, to go around and find someone that I could borrow a suit from. And, and at that particular time, I got a suit from one of my dad's and my uncle's friend. He was a grown man, and I mm -hmm. could wear his suit because my my stature, I guess, was I was big as a, a, a full grown man. So I borrowed his double breast suit, and uh, I had to look cool like Duke Ellington. And that stand that stood out because people were willing to help us. Our school system had integrated, and for a period of time, years in fact, the black community had waited for the Pinellas County school system to incorporate our highly talented black children into their fine arts. The beginnings of integration, it was in 73, I think, that we started here. It took quite a while. Um, took quite a while for teachers to adjust and for administrators. And so our children were without what they are so used to in our segregated school system. Our children were always speaking, singing, dancing, reciting. And this was a terrible uh, dry season for our children and it went on for years. It was in that kind of vacuum that I decided that I would try to put something together so our children can number one, learn their history because they would no longer get it like they used to get it in the African-American segregated school, very strongly with a lot of pride, and also that they will be able to plug back into their inner selves. 
Miss Peterman is very easy going, but she wants your full attention when she's speaking, when anyone else is speaking. Um, respect for your elders. She wants no playing around, no nothing. When she says DDOA, that's exactly what she means. Don't disrespect our ancestors. When I think about the beauty of Cuthbert St. John Jr., I believe it was, and, and how he blossomed throughout the pageant and how it even changed his, his school life, his father said, uh, then the pageant then becomes uh, larger than life for African American children. I can't imagine Mama Shirley shaking herself all over the stage. That's enough, young lady. Your grandmother did some dancing and a lot of singing. Aisha, she was so pretty. I'm going to get some pictures from Mother so you can see what your Mama Shirley looked like. Boy, was she a looker. Granddaddy said he couldn't keep his eyes off the first time he saw her. Aisha, your grandfather had roving eyes for all the pretty young ladies. <laughs> Come on, I didn't say he wasn't faithful. I just said he had roving eyes. Also, um, we see some of these young people now who've gone on to become, you know, they've some went to college, some did not, but they gainfully employed. Um, and you see that there's a lawyer in the group and there's, you know, another professional in the group. And so they learned. Um, we were able to impart to them some life values that they could use, you know, when they became adults and, and they're using these. But especially the commitment um, and, you know, the values, they learned to value different aspects of life. I think that uh, Carter G. Woodson might agree with the students from St. Petersburg that at least in their community, Peggy Peterman is the mother of African American history. Please help me welcome Peggy Peterman.